Well, anyway, here we are. Uh, the doctor's in, so I have a lot of doctoring stuff to do. Uh, I've just had some uh, calls asking me a couple of things about COVID. Of course, I'll talk about that. But I want to talk about something else. I, as we're going into a uh, gastronomical bacchanalia starting uh, probably tonight and going on through New Year's, uh, we have a special at the clinic that I want to tell you about for a minute that we have never, ever done before. And I'm a little worried about it because every time I have a special on our enzymes, long life energy enzymes, um, our office goes from a health clinic into a shipping office because the amount of material that we have to move, and I think that might be going to happen again because this is this is the first time we've ever done this. And I want to set the stage for this because uh, many of you already on a regular basis uh, get the long life energy enzymes. And I'm starting the program off with a commercial. I don't normally do that, but I'm, I'm doing that now because I will probably do this again during the next hour. But I could talk all day long and into the night about enzymes, about how vitally important enzymes are, and probably for the rest of the week without having to put a whole lot of effort into it. Um, and I understand that uh, it's, pr- it's probably not in the lexicon of most of you. However, it is a vital chemical process that takes place inside the body. And... Uh, the bottom line is you want to know whether this stuff is any good for you or not. And that's what I want to talk about. Enzymes, um, in my world, can be spelled another way, just E-N-E-R-G-Y, energy. That's why we called it, we called it lifelong, uh, I, excuse me, we called it uh, an enzyme product to start with, uh, long life energy enzymes or long life enzymes and people kept telling us how much energy it provided them in their bodies i was just trying to hope i I was hoping for a product and and i'll explain it here in a a second because i built it for myself because i was having some pancreatic problems this is uh probably five years ago and what had happened was mary had given me a, a father's day gift of a calcium scan of the heart I didn't think I needed to do that, but I went and did it anyway. And they found, I think, four tiny little spots in the arterial structures of my heart uh, where there were tiny, itty-bitty little calcium deposits, which at the time was probably perfectly normal for anybody my age. And I, so I didn't pay much attention to it. I just laid the radiologist report down and, and, and never paid it a second thought. And a few months later, I was looking for some other paperwork, especially where I had laid that original radiologist report, and I found the report again accidentally and just started glancing through it and read something that I had missed the first time I saw that report, which was simply, uh, it said I had an atrophic pancreas. And it said there's a few gallstones and this and that and the heart, you know, essentially okay and all these things. But there was an atrophic pancreas, which means without body, without form. It was, uh, it's another way of saying wasting away. In other words, if you have an MRI image of your knee or an MRI image of the, of the gallbladder or of your spinal cord, there should be definable borders. But when there are no definable borders, then there's something wrong somewhere. So I wasn't having any pain. I wasn't having any symptoms. I just had this big red warning flag. Uh, We can't find your pancreas. We know where it should be. And it looks like it's where it's supposed to be, but we can't tell where it starts or where it ends. Well, that's not a good thing. So I started looking for a pancreas support product that would answer what I was looking for. And we and we could only find it in a multitude of different products that would have been very, very expensive. So we created one for me. And um, 
it works so well in the sense of rebuilding energy inside the body that we made several hundred bottles of it. And they sold out quickly, so we produced several hundred more bottles of it. And I don't know how many rounds we've been through over a five-year period. Maybe as many as, oh, seven, eight, maybe as many as nine um, individual orders for several hundred bottles at a time because we're having a hard time holding on to this stuff. December of 2017, which is almost three years now, I went and had another scan done, a, a pancreatic study, a, 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 an MRI study of the, no, CT study of the pancreas. And the report this time was totally different. It says, uh, it, it says normal pancreas. And a little smaller than maybe it should be for a man of my size. But it's there. The ducts are there. The body is there. The definitions, the borders, everything is there. And it's considered a healthy pancreas. That's after two years of using our own product. Now, enzymes simply put, are just very large molecules that cause a certain kind of a chemical reaction to either speed up or slow down. Uh, All the chemical reactions in your body are triggered by an enzyme, either something starting it or stopping it. The creation of proteins are done by an enzyme out of amino acids. Even though the enzyme is a lot bigger sometimes than the protein structure it is signaling the construction of, it can happen without an enzyme. Uh, because a certain amount of energy is required for something to happen. You know, you're standing there at the back end of a of your uh, F-250 uh, loading up hay bales to take out to the cattle or the horses or whatever else. And these are big 70, 80-pound bales, and it takes a certain amount of energy for you to lift up that bale and throw it in the back of that truck. Then all of a sudden, someone comes along, sees what you're doing, and helps you lift the bale, so at the activation energy that's required for you to lift that bell suddenly has been cut in half or maybe even more than half, depending on the strength of the person that's just helped you. And it's made that reaction occur much more easily. That's what an enzyme does. And there's more than 5,000 of these enzymes inside of our body doing all these kinds of uh, chemical reactions, speeding things up, slowing things down. I gave an example once before of a particular reaction that occurs inside the mitochondria for the formation of a protein. And without the enzyme that is necessary for this reaction to take place, the reaction would take about 2 billion years to occur all by itself. But in the presence of this enzyme, it happens in a nanosecond. Just so infinitesimally fast, it's hard to even begin to estimate that kind of time. And so there's different kinds of enzymes. There's plant enzymes, uh, um, digestive enzymes, metabolic enzymes. And when we created this product, we were looking for an overall effect upon the body, not just in the building of energy, but the better digestion of food. And also for a very interesting phenomena that was discovered well over a hundred years ago by Dr. James Beard in Edinburgh, Scotland. When he was studying uh, parasites was really his specialty. And as is the case in a lot of scientific discoveries, they're kind of accidentally discovered while you're focusing your intent and research protocol in another area, suddenly this other information starts slipping in like, wow, what's this? Let's take a look at this. Where'd this come from kind of a thing? And what he discovered was that in mammals, at a certain period of fetal formation, the pancreas, the fetal pancreas, starts producing some very powerful enzymes and dropping them into the digestive system when there's no food in the digestive system because the, the, the baby animal, the fetus, is living through an umbilical cord attached to the placenta, attached to the endometrial wall of the uterus of the mother. And that lifeline is producing or pro- providing oxygen, the release of carbon dioxide, and f- nutritional food sort, uh, f- foods for that developing baby. 
And he noticed that depending on the species of the animal, at different times, the pancreas would release these enzymes. In a pig, it was a certain period of time. In a cow, it was a certain period of time. But in the human being, he discovered on the 56th day of conception, the fetal, the, the human fetal pancreas started dumping pancreatic enzymes into the digestive system when there was nothing there to digest. And as he began to study this more and more, he also realized that in human fetal development, on the 56th day of conception of, of life, the placenta stops its explosive growth and slows way down. Then as the baby grows, the placenta grows concurrent with the size of the baby. But in the very beginning, when the, uh, the, the fertilized ovum, and, it, and by the time it attaches to the posterior wall of the uterus, which is where it's supposed to attach, um, is already several cells. But as it invades the wall of the uterus, he realized in his studies, in his published studies, that the fertilized ovum attaches itself to the wall of the uterus using the same enzyme procedures and chemical reactions that a cancer cell attaches itself to the wall of the lung or the kidney or the liver or whatever it's attacking. And it uses the same, um, what are called uh, matrix metalloproteinase enzymes to anchor itself for a rich blood supply. And what he discovered next was just, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, heaven sent. And I'll tell you that in just a moment. I'm talking about enzymes. Enzymes are absolutely essential. They are the spark of life. And yes, I've got some things about COVID that I'll update you with, but not till a little bit later because I want to get this across. For the first time ever, we are doing a buy one, get one free. Absolutely. Uh, It's the Black Friday, Cyber Monday kind of thing. To buy one, you can buy one and get one free. You buy one, I will personally throw a second bottle in the box before it's shipped out. And it would be very, very hard to avoid something like that, especially those who are familiar with these enzymes. Up to 10. You buy 10 of these bottles, I'll give you 10 free ones. Now, why in the world would I do something like that? I'll tell you why. Here is a recent testimonial. With the liver diagnosis, I was a bit overwhelmed. Uh, Oh, no, this is... uh, a diagnosis of enlarged spleen, cirrhosis of the liver, diffusely nodular liver. At a prior CAT scan and ER visit, I was told I was having a pancreatic attack. With the liver diagnosis, I was a bit overwhelmed as they were wanting me to, to put me on a liver transplant list. My husband went back to listen to Dr. Jack and Mary's podcast and Dr. Jack's personal study of his pancreas, personal story of his pancreas story. After reading about Dr. Lee Enzymes, we had a different strong sense that this is where we needed to start. We ordered our first bottle. I started with four each morning on an empty tummy, which is how we recommend that you use these products. You take about four of these first thing in the morning before there's any food. Four of them. At least a half an hour, 45 minutes before you eat. I noticed my blood sugars leveling out. My energy was coming back and my large bruises that would often appear were not showing up on my body. These bruises were not due to bumps. I'm simply not quite that clumsy, and they on occasion would turn large and were quite ugly to view. Since taking the Long Life Energy Enzymes, of which I have not finished one whole bottle, and three quarters of the second bottle per recommendation of at least two bottles, I was not on therapeutic levels. My bruising is null to void. Now on occasion I may get a small bruise, but it heals quickly and timely with very little color. No deep purples and deep red and waiting for any signs of yellow in the direction of healing. I am tickled and will continue my path of finding my father-created body as he guides and directs me to help my body heal with the natural ways he's led me to. Praise him. 
No, meaning God, not me. <clears throat> um, so that, that's why uh, we're doing a buy one, get one, because usually it takes about two of these to get the full effect. And so we've had a lot of people buy one, and a lot of them will come back, get a second bottle, and a third bottle, and a fourth bottle. Wow, that was weird. That was very weird. This, <laughs> this button bouncing around here on the control panel. Okay, so back to Dr. Beard. So Dr. Beard discovered something very, very interesting when all of this happened. The placenta slowed down its growth on the 56th day. Because prior to this, the placenta was growing the way cancer grows using the same enzymes to, Im- to uh, invade the wall of the uterus to secure a very strong blood supply. And interestingly enough, the uterus was helping it to do that. Enzymes were going back and forth to trigger this action to take place. Now, there's a very deadly form of cancer called um, choriocarcinoma. And that is when... A, uh, a pregnant lady, the placenta does not stop its explosive growth. And it grows, and it grows, and it grows. And it will kill the mother, and it will obviously kill the baby. Very deadly, very dangerous form. Thankfully, very rare, but it does occur. And this is when the placenta doesn't stop its explosive growth. So Dr. Beard... Uh, when he was studying this in fetal pigs, he started. He, he would extract those enzymes to find out what in the world, why in the world is this stuff taking place inside the digestive system when, as I said, there's no food in the digestive system for these very powerful uh, protein-digesting enzymes to be present, especially in the bloodstream. It gets into the gut, then it gets into the bloodstream, delivered throughout the entire body because it triggers the stop of the placenta. The placenta is growing like a cancer. So he goes, hmm, what if, what if I injected these enzymes into a cancerous tumor? And that was the beginning of the enzyme treatment of cancer. And we're talking about the 1880s. And they understood cancer back then. They had a surprisingly good understanding of cancer. They had the microscopes. They had the um, m- means of identifying different kinds of cancer cells. They understood the growth of cancer, even though it was 100 years ago. This isn't something we've just stumbled on since the 1950s when cancer took off like crazy in this country. In fact, 100 years ago, I think cancer was listed as number 10 cause of death in the United States. And that's a, that's a matter of uh, CDC and FDA records. Anyway, but that's another story. So what Dr. Beard did is he started concentrating these enzymes and injecting them into uh, cancer cells. And within a week to two weeks, the cancers would digest and, and just pass away. They would leave the body. Breast, liver, uh, external cancer growths. And the only time they really lost um, a patient was if the destruction of the tumor was so strong, so quick, and the... Um, cancer was heavily uh, vascularized, it was full of blood vessels, these would open up too and the patient would bleed to death. Now that didn't happen very often. And so this just exploded in the UK and it moved into continental Europe. And there were as many as 40 clinics at one time using the enzyme therapy for cancer. Very successfully. And it was beginning to be noticed in the United States. I think it was a 1911 edition of um, the New England Journal of Medicine started talking about it. Well, we, we've heard about this uh, treatment for cancer in the UK, and we're looking into it, and here's what they're doing, and here's what they're claiming, and, and we find all these things to be really, really interesting, and uh, we need to look into it further. Well, it just so happens at the time that this was really getting an anchor into Europe, Marie Curie shows up out of Poland into France. And, of course, she goes on to win two Nobel Prizes for radium and subsequent discoveries. 
and becomes the darling of Paris, the darling of Europe. And with her x-rays, she has, you know, and now uh, Rankin, w- w- Wilhelm Rankin in, in 1895 had discovered x-rays. She discovers radium a, few, a couple of decades later and realizes there's this tremendous amount of Rankin's x-rays coming out of this material called radium. And it's extremely toxic, as you well know. But at the time, they didn't realize that. And so she convinces the scientific community that x-rays are the perfect treatment for cancer, and they're perfectly safe. Now, that seems, you know, counterintuitive. If it was so destructive to a cancer tumor, how could it be safe? But that was the word at the time. And she, of course, ended up dying of aplastic anemia, which is radiation poisoning. Her crew dies of aplastic anemia. And to this day, her laboratory is set up as a museum site in Paris, uh, I think at the Sorbonne. And you it's lined in lead, and you can't get in to see her notes or her equipment or anything else except in a lead-lined hazmat suit because it's still radioactive to this day. It's kind of like um, Mabel Palmer, who was the wife of B.J. Palmer. Chiropractors were the ones who brought X-ray to the United States. Medicine didn't really see a need for it until World War II when they could start identifying uh, bullets and shrapnel and where it was buried in the body and what they needed to do to get it out to save the soldier's life. But prior to that, it had been brought over in large numbers by B.J. Palmer because chiropractors understood back then you don't touch the spine without a nice road map as to what's going on inside the body to find things that you can't feel through the skin from the outside. Well, <laughs> they didn't have the kind of x-ray safety and security that they should have had, like Marie Curie should have had. Uh, And um, Mabel Palmer ends up dying, essentially, of radiation poisoning because she would hold the radiographic plates in front of her as her husband, BJ, was on the far end of the x-ray machine pushing the button to take x-rays of the patient in between the two of them. Now, this seems rather crazy and insane but they didn't under they didn't know how dangerous these things were back then now we have all kinds of filtering and all kinds of protection and so it's it's not nearly as dangerous as it well it's dangerous but in a very controlled environment such as i have in my clinic it's not that dangerous it's not dangerous it, well i can't say it's not dangerous at all obviously i use lead filtering at the source of the x-ray so it de- greatly decreases the amount of x-ray coming into the room. Anyway, uh, it, Dr. Beard's stuff kind of got pushed off to the side because everybody was getting x-rays because you can make a lot more money treating cancer with uh, x-ray uh, therapies than injecting somebody with something as simple as some enzymes, no matter how effective that was. So Dr. Beard's work kind of got pushed off to the side. It was resurrected several times thereafter, a decade here, a decade there, various times inside the United States. And whenever uh, doctors, there was one in uh, St. Louis who resurrected it and was extremely successful with the treatment of cancer. And and then the FDA came in and said, "Uh uh-uh, no more. And then Dr. Kelly, uh, a uh, dental surgeon down in Grapevine, Texas, Uh, came down with pancreatic cancer. And as he studied and studied, of course, this is long before the Internet. He had to go to the original records. He would study as much as he could about pancreatic cancer and stumbled across the work of this doctor from St. Louis that led him to the work of Dr. Beard. And so he started taking large amounts of digestive enzymes. And when he would do that and clean up his diet, the pancreatic tumors would shrink. You could... You could see them uh, sticking out through the wall of his stomach or his, you know, abdominal wall. But when he would take these enzymes, they would shrink and shrink and shrink to the point where he couldn't palpate them anymore through the skin. And so he started treating pancreatic patients and other kinds of cancer patients as a dentist in Grapevine, Texas, to a very successful level. 
In fact, he was the one who was taking care of Steve McQueen when Steve McQueen had lung cancer. And when he would follow Dr. Kelly's uh, protocols, his lung cancer would go into remission. And it was all, you know, it was all blamed on vitamin B17 and laetrile and all this kind of stuff. But it was the enzymes that would do it. And then when the cancer would go into remission, he would go, go back to the original lifestyle that treated the cancer in the first place or caused the cancer. And eventually, through the pressure of friends who said, for crying out loud, Steve, this guy's just a dentist in Texas. There's cancer specialists here in Orange County or L.A. County that can take care of this for you. And, of course, he died shortly thereafter. Um, then Dr. Kelly's work came to the attention of Dr. Good uh, at, um, in New York City. Uh, which kind of at the time was really the the cancer research center of the world. And uh, Dr. Good, spelled G-O-O-D-E, was very fascinated with the written reports coming from Dr. Kelly that he sent one of his medical students by the name of Nicholas Gonzalez down to Texas to find out what the heck this dentist was doing. Now, Dr. Gonzalez first started out as a journalist because he loved, he, loved, he loved investigative reporting and the writing that would follow his investigations, especially when it got into the medical world. And he was so impressed with, with what he was discovering, he decided to become a doctor himself. And he got his medical degree from Cornell. And he was very fascinated with cancer and ended up working with uh, Dr. Good and became, you know, his protege, and he sent him down to Texas. So he goes down there and spends the summer in his second year of med school uh, with Dr. Kelly in Grapevine, Texas, and is just absolutely fascinated with these reports. Cancer after cancer after cancer into remission once they cleaned up their diets, did some detoxification, used heavy amounts of trace minerals, and these enzymes primarily chymotrypsin and trypsin, very powerful digesting enzymes. Now, when you eat your breakfast today or lunch or dinner and it gets into the stomach, hydrochloric acid is released. That hydrochloric acid is there to break down proteins. It doesn't really affect much of anything else. The fats are going to kind of go on through because they're rather inert in the presence of acid. Your The plant material you eat is pretty well going to go on through it breaks up a little bit because there are some protein structures in the plant but most of the the carbohydrate part of the plant is going to go on through uh, the stomach into the small intestine now if the stomach acid gets hot enough down to about 2 to 2.5 ph the wall of the stomach will release pepsin which is only designed to dissolve one thing collagen Collagen is only found in animal meat. You don't find collagen anywhere else. Nature put that there. Put peps in the stomach for a reason, not to digest strawberries. More on this story in a minute, and don't worry, I'll get to COVID. But I've got to finish this because we're offering buy one, get one. I've never done that before. We've never done that in the office. And I'll tell you the coupon in just a minute. All right, 44 minutes after the hour, I'm kind of in a hurry to get back into this because i got to tell you this deal. You go to Forbidden Doctor, and right there on the home page is, now this is only for the enzymes. It's not for age of thyroid. It's only for the enzymes. And you order one, you're going to get, you'll see another one pop up for nothing, for zero. You order five, you'll see five more. And once you pay, once you go to pay for it, you'll see five more show up. You pay for five, you get ten. You buy ten, you'll get ten for free. I'm serious. It, the testimonials, the results of what we're getting coming into the clinic of people who are using this stuff. I wish I had, I wish I had created this product 20 years ago. Well, it wasn't just me. It was Mary and I. We went to, uh, we went to a compounder up in Layton. And we sat down with uh, the biochemist who owns the business and does all, who, who packages material for MLM, multi-level companies, their, their enzymes and their vitamins and their whatever. 
and we told him what we wanted. I told him my experience, what I was looking for, here's what's helped me. I want to put this in one product because what I had to use was about six different products to get the results with my pancreas. But we wanted one product, and he looked at us and he said, you know how expensive that's going to be? Yeah, I realize it. He said, everybody comes in here and they say, we want this and want this and want this. And when they find out what it's going to be, they end up uh, opting to go on the cheap. Because when you buy an enzyme product, you don't buy it on how many grams of this or that is present of this enzyme or that enzyme. You look at the FCC or the, or the USP number after the enzyme name. If there's no number showing its concentration and its strength, it's crap. And that's what happens with most of the people he packs for is a crap product because it has no strength, no vitality to it. So he just about cried when we made our first order of, I don't I remember, 500 bottles or something like that. Because he said, this is, this is what I've always wanted to be able to produce, was something this good. And all the big companies want to go on the cheap, and so we have to really downplay the strength, the purity, and the potency of what goes into those bottles. He, he actually makes sure his wife gets our product. Not that he wouldn't benefit from it. So what you do is you go to ForbiddenDoctor.com, and right there on the homepage where it talks about long life energy enzymes, you buy one, you'll see a second one show up for free. Up to 10. You buy 10, you'll get 10 for free. Now, if you've got some people you really love who have digestive problems or are showing, well, let me give you another example. Mary's age spots on her face disappeared after using the enzymes for a short period of time. We have people who have, uh, who, whose, whose liver scans were showing cysts, things growing on their liver disappeared after about 30 days of using the enzyme. Why? It's not miraculous. It's just that the older we get, the less enzymes the, the pancreas produces. About 35 years old, it starts producing less enzymes. Now, this is going to sound... I don't want to sound cold and cruel and, and scientific to the point where I use, lose all sense of humanity. But there is, while we enjoy consciousness as a sentient human being, and while we enjoy the ability to, to go hunting in the fall, and to go to weddings, and to go to have birthday parties, and Thanksgiving tomorrow, and Christmas in a month, while we go on vacations, while we love raising families, the primary biological directive inside the human body is to reproduce itself down on a cellular level. That's what the cells do. Healthy cells reproduce themselves because there's a process called apoptosis, the programmed death of a cell. When a new cell is born, in its genetic design is its death date. You have a death date. And due to our awareness and consciousness and the cortex and the so-called higher brain and the prefrontal cortex, which isn't as big as it should be, but as big as it is, we have a birth date. We celebrate our birth dates. We also have a death date. We don't know when that is. But it's coming The day will come when you die. Just as cells are programmed to die, so are you. Cells are programmed to take in nourishment, to get rid of toxins, and to reproduce. Organs, the same thing. The human body, the same thing. So by the time you reach 35 or 40... All the biological processes that are concerned with reproduction start slowing down, and the life-sustaining processes inside the body start slowing down compared to when you were 24 or 25 years old. One of which is your pancreas starts producing far less enzymes. There's a new condition out there. In fact, I've got a patient right now I'm taking care of who came in. That was her major complaint. Pancreatic enzyme insufficiency. I think it's called PEI. Pancreatic enzyme insufficiency. PEI. I said, when were you told you had that? (laughs) Well, it was recently. And I kind of giggled when she said that. And she said, what's so funny? And I I gave her what I've just told you for the last hour. I told her in five minutes. It was very fast. 
And so before she left, after I worked on her, because she was having some spinal and shoulder pain and muscle tightness in the low back, um, I, I, I worked on her for that. But she left with a bottle of the enzymes. And I said, this is going to change everything. This will change everything because she's buying pharmaceutical-grade enzymes for about three times what my bottle of enzymes cost. So you don't need but any time, well, uh, that's a subject for another matter, what the FDA and the pharmaceutical companies do. So <clears throat> Dr. Gonzalez, to finish that story, throws his whole attention, once he, he gets into practice in New York City, in Manhattan, into the enzyme therapy of cancer, using Dr. Beard, Dr. Kelly, and all these other pioneers whose shoulders he stood upon. And he came out of Sloan Kettering, which is considered the, you know, Cancer Research Center of the World and uh, Brigham and Women's Hospital there, uh, but mostly Sloan Kettering, uh, treating cancer with detoxification, dietary changes based on your metabolic type, heavy, heavy mineralization, trace mineral support, and enzymes, primarily trypsin and chymotrypsin, as well as other digestive enzymes. He ended up being so successful that the you know, pharmaceutical companies came down on him pretty hard. And he has published several books where it, there, we have them in the clinic for, for review because I want people to understand, uh, even though he has since passed away at an early age under what I consider to be mysterious circumstances, although his wife says it isn't mysterious, I think it is, his protege or his associate, Dr. Linda Isaacs, is now practicing in Austin, Texas. She left Manhattan because of the pressure and went down to, to uh, Austin, Texas. And so when patients come in with advanced cancer to our patient, our clinic now, we refer them to Dr. Isaacs. And they said, well, what about, why, why not one of the local cancer centers here in Salt Lake? I won't mention any names. And I said, because they don't do the enzyme therapy. Get on down to Texas and at least consult with her and see what she has to say because she learned at the feet of Dr. Gonzalez. Now, it was only after I had created these enzymes, Mary and I, excuse me, I keep leaving her out of this, Mary and I created these enzymes for my benefit that we began to realize, wow, there's something more going on here. Now, we don't treat cancer. I refer any patient that comes in with cancer to an oncologist or if they're already under the care of their oncologist, I tell them, this is what I would do to support the nutritional status of your body, but you make sure your oncologist knows about this stuff. Make sure they know you're doing this. Take this bottle to them. Let them read the, let them read the ingredients. It's all food, just food concentrates, all derived from mammals, as well as some herbs, some very powerful herbs, because the digestive enzyme part of the pancreas is only half the pancreas's job. The other half is sugar handling, the producing the production of insulin through the beta cells. And uh, we have herbs in there, the gymnema and the bitter melon, that have been shown in peer-reviewed research to actually increase the growth of beta cells in type 1 diabetics. Now, it's not a panacea. It's not a cure-all but it has proven to be very, very effective for a lot of people for a lot of different conditions. So, and then, you know, I, I, out of one side of my mouth, I tell you, we don't treat cancer. Out of the other side of my mouth, a, good, a very good friend of mine, Dave B., I'm not going to tell you his last name, Dave B., he's no longer alive, but he started using these enzymes about three years ago for um, brain cancer, glioblastoma multiform, the most deadly form of brain cancer. You get diagnosed with this, you're lucky if you live 60 days. Uh, he started taking tremendous amounts of these enzymes and lived for another three years. But he did a bunch of other stuff too. And I had talked to him about that and I said, it's very hard uh, when you start introducing this and introducing that and stop doing this or stop doing that to be able to trace, trace the whole thing down. But he was taking a tremendous amount of synthetic vitamins. Uh, synthetic vitamin D and synthetic vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. And um, I said, these are, not, these are not your friends. But, you know, the pressure from other sources. And, and he, but he lived three years longer than his doctors told him he was going to live. Mm. 
But uh, synthetic vitamin D, the cholecalciferol that I'm referring to, a lot of people are on that, and they come in and they, I say, well, you need some more D. And, oh, I'm taking D. What do you take? Well, let me see it. And I look at it, and on the, it says cholecalciferol, of course. Um, cholecal- synthetic vitamin D was uh, invented many, many decades ago. And Dr. Lee, the founder of Standard Process, uh, in studying the cases of a lot of children who are dying of kidney calcification, in other words, the calcium deposits would build up so heavy in the kidneys that the kidneys failed and they went into kidney failure and died, were on high levels of synthetic vitamin D. Now, I've mentioned this on the radio many times. I'll mention it again. You go into Harmon's, go into Smith's, go into... Uh, any uh, 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 Macy's, any of these grocery stores in the area and go in the hardware section where they have small animal, small rodent poison and read the label. It doesn't say warfarin. It says cholecalciferol because cholecalciferol causes the hardening of the arteries in the kidneys because of calcium deposition and they, they die of kidney failure which some people think is a little more humane than killing these pests and rodents with uh, bleeding to death internally from using warfarin. Now, one of the things that kills you with cancer is kidney failure and liver failure. Those things usually kill you quicker than the cancer itself, along, coupled with the chemotherapy. Because as the chemotherapy begins to kill cancer cells, which it does along with other cells, and this cancerous debris begins to build up heavy inside the body in the bloodstream your kidneys and liver are working overtime trying to clean out this debris because the blood literally gets filled up with this toxic debris and because of the failure of the kidney and the failure of the liver you finally usually die from the cancer not so much the cancer itself depending on where the cancer is but most hard cancers outside of the brain you end up dying of cancer liver and kidney failure And so it's very vital, very important, those kidneys are left as healthy as they possibly can to clean out that debris through the urine. I uh, Off-air calls about some uh, cartilage buildup with the enzymes help that. These enzymes are designed to destroy protein where it doesn't belong. Okay? And it's designed to destroy protein where it does belong in the digestive system. Because you you know there's there's, uh, amylase, which is in your saliva... And that breaks down carbohydrates. It starts the carbohydrate, the sugar uh, digestion in your mouth as you chew your food. It won't do anything with fats. It won't do anything with proteins, but it'll start to break down carbohydrates. In the stomach, it gets hit with uh, hydrochloric acid and pepsin that breaks the uh, proteins down into uh, peptides and into amino acids. The fats go right on through along with most of the carbohydrate, gets into the small intestine, Small intestine, blast that hot, soupy uh, acid mixture with bicarbonate to, to neutralize the acid. And then a lot of other types of um, uh, enzymes are released. Uh, lipase that breaks down fats, emulsifies the fats. That's coming out of the pancreas. And then there is pancreatin, a very powerful uh, protein, further protein digesting enzyme. So your, your digestive system is the world's most powerful deconstruction plant. It is designed to s- destroy everything that comes into the stomach, you know, as long as Mother Nature made it, has a hard time with stuff that Post or Kellogg's or Kraft or, or whatever else made um, because the digestive triggers inside those foods have been removed in order to get shelf life. But that, that's a story for another show. So anyway... Um, in the small intestine, the begin in the duodenum, the beginning of the small intestine, where the pancreas is releasing its material, the uh, gallbladder is releasing bile to further emulsify fats. The emulsification of the fat just makes fat mixable with water. That's all it means. The fat gets so stinking small in its size that it can mix with water. Then it gets hit with lipase, and that lipase breaks the fat down into glycerol and to fatty acids. So these things can get through the wall of the intestine into the bloodstream. And then pancreatin. And then there's the two very powerful enzymes, chymotrypsin and trypsin, that further destroy any last protein-type structure 
into its constituent amino acids that can be absorbed through the gut of the wall into the bloodstream for your nutrition. And everything that goes through the gut wall is going to go through the liver before it hits the main blood supply. So the liver can look at it and say, all right, now this one we're going to get rid of through the bile. This, okay, you can come, you can come. Oh, hold it. You, you, stop, you stay over there. I, I don't know what you are. I've never seen you before. I'm going to wrap you up in a fat molecule till I figure out what's going on. All right, the rest of you keep coming, keep coming, keep coming into the bloodstream. I mean, that's what the liver is doing. The liver has over 600 different functions that we've been able to identify, which, which is one of the main reasons you can't live without a liver. But in any event, um, these enzymes begin to be decreased as we get older. So I was talking about with uh, reproduction of the species earlier in the last hour. And as the body slows down, its ability to sustain itself, aging starts. And the gray hair shows up. And the wrinkles show up. Because you, you can't break down the collagen that's present in animal products to a sufficient degree to get it into the system to keep the skin firm. You're not getting the healthy fats to keep a good fat layer underneath the skin to keep that good-looking nature to yourself. So that's why we put this bottle of enzymes together. There's a lot of enzymes out there on the market, but what I they're a lot cheaper than these mark these product the products I'm telling you about simply because they are cheap. They were made on the cheap. Just stick an enzyme on the label and you think you're getting something good. It's just like the dip it's like the difference between gasoline and you pull into a gas station and you're driving a $200,000 Mercedes. And the dealer said, this is exactly what you put in that motor if you want a 100,000 mile warranty. You put anything else in there, it voids the warranty. Well, your body kind of has... Um, your body kind of has that warranty structure built into it as long as it's taken care of. Now, a lot of these enzyme products out there say plant enzymes. You're not a cow. You're not a sheep. You're not a deer. You're not a ruminant. You don't have multi pockets inside the stomach loaded with enzyme or uh, bacteria trying to break down the grasses you've been eating or the spinach or the v salads and everything else. You have a very small bag of hot hydrochloric acid at the bottom of your esophagus. That hydrochloric acid is designed to break down proteins. That acid gets hot enough, pepsin is released from the walls of the stomach that's even more powerful than the hydrochloric acid. And pepsin is designed to break down only one thing, collagen, the protein structures that hold meat together so that your body can digest the meat. I love explaining that to a vegan. Um, while they still have some sensibility. All courtesy of the forbidden doctor. Now, I'm not the forbidden doctor. Neither is Mary. The forbidden doctor is that doctor deep inside you that built that body you're living in. I'm talking to your consciousness now. That body you live in. There's a doctor inside you that runs that system, that repairs it, that heals it, that fixes it, that grows it, and keeps it running. We call it the forbidden doctor because simply in today's modern medical world, you're forbidden to know that even exists. That you're simply the result of the amount of drugs that you take that, you know, preserves your health. Nonsense. All right. All right. I think I have said what I wanted to say about this. Um... If you, if you want more about the enzyme treatment of cancer, I think you can go online and just Google enzyme treatment of cancer. Dr. Gonzalez wrote a multi-page description of the history in much greater detail than what I've given you today. And uh, um, there's a book that just came out, the, autobio the biography of Dr. Gonzalez called The Maverick M.D., and fortunately, surprise, surprise, it's still on Amazon. Because they took off the contagion myth. They, they refused to sell the book, The Contagion Myth, that, that it just spells out truly the history of the germ theory of disease and why it's a bunch of bunk. You can get that at Barnes & Noble, The Contagion Myth by Dr. Cowan. You can get that at Barnes & Noble. The other book here, The Maverick M.D., 
the life story of Dr. Gonzalez. And um, I haven't seen it yet. We've ordered it. We just haven't got it yet. But I expect it to be about as fascinating as everything I've ever discovered about Dr. Gonzalez. And in medical anthologies, 100 years from now, he'll be in an, an anthology, and it's going to say, they should have listened to him sooner. All right, let me go on. If you're having any trouble, and I'm sorry I can't get to all the calls. There's just too many of them. Uh, if you're having any trouble ordering this, just call the office, 801-523-1890. 801-523-1890. They'll take your order over the phone. I got a couple of more testimonials regarding the enzymes. This is from a per- this is from a personal friend. You have an identify unidentified mass on your liver. Two months before my twenty seventh birthday, that was the scariest thing I ever heard in my life. I couldn't help but think, how did that happen? It can't be true. It's not fair. It all started a few months earlier, just a mild case of acid reflux. I'm reading this from Amazon. If you go to Amazon.com and search for Long Life Energy Enzymes, there is a bunch of these testimonials. Now, this won't work on Amazon. You have to go through ForbiddenDoctor.com to get the special. The buy one, get one free deal. And again, if you have any problem doing it, you can call the office, 801-523-1890. Tell them you heard it on K-Talk. You want to take advantage of the buy one, get one. So he says, it all started a few months earlier, just a mild case of acid reflux. Uh, Over months, it got worse and worse and worse till I could hardly keep any food down. So my doctor told me to change my diet. That didn't work. She ran a battery of blood tests, which shortly after revealed my liver functions were off the chart. An ultrasound, ultrasound scan revealed an unidentified mass on my liver. At the age of 27, all my doctor could say was, well, there's nothing we can do but wait. Let's just do the test again in 12 months. Well, that kind of passive, let's wait for it to become cancer approach seemed insane to me. So I started researching, looking for anything more proactive than just waiting for cancer. That's when I found Dr. Jack and Mary Stockwell's Lee Enzymes compound. Mary told me to throw away the diet the doctor gave me and got me on the GAPS diet combined with Lee Enzymes. In less than two weeks, the acid reflux that was driving me crazy was gone. In four weeks, I went back to to being able to eat almost anything, including things the doctor told me for 15 years I was allergic to, now with no indigestion or reflux. After 10 weeks, I repeated my blood test. It was pristine. Three months ago, I finally repeated my ultrasound. The mass had vaporized, disappeared. That looming threat, that terrible six-letter word that whispered to me at night, stealing my sleep, was finally lifted from my shoulders. Thank God and thank Lee. Update. And that's about Dr. Lee. Doctor, uh, the founder of Standard Process, but he that we named the Lee enzymes after Doctor Lee, Lifelong Energy Enzymes, L E E. And so when he says thanks, Lee, he's talking about long life energy enzymes. Update: I recently started taking Lee enzymes again, as I was feeling low on energy and was afraid to go down the same old path once again. In just a few days, I started feeling much better, lighter, more energized. After two weeks, it's like the clouds parted and summer came early this year. Um, Plenty of plenty of uh, testimonials like this that um, in the few weeks since we started taking these enzymes, we definitely noticed improved energy in a way that's kind of hard to explain. My wife and I can feel these enzymes working from the inside. We both suffer from chronic fatigue, and this product has been a blessing. In addition to the energy boost, the, these enzymes do a ton of other things, like nourish the pancreas, assist in balancing sugars, turmeric for inflammation, and more. And then it goes on for more than that. So, uh, yeah. So this is this is the words from. Um, uh, the testimony, like I said, you can go to. Uh, um, Amazon.com and read some of this stuff for yourself. Uh, my sister here, when we moved from Salt Lake City to San Diego a couple of years ago, I was worried that we wouldn't be able to get Lee enzymes regularly. Our family of five was fortunate enough to be one of the first to take the Lee enzymes developed by the Stockwells after being regular patients of theirs for over a dozen years. Even our kids love these. Now that they're available on Amazon, we're using them every day for overall wellness and energy. You cannot, you cannot get the deal from Amazon. You have to go to family, I mean, ForbiddenDoctor.com to do that. Um, here's an, uh, they, these are verified purchases. These aren't, 
This isn't my staff calling in to Amazon or writing into Amazon. If you shop from Amazon, you know what a verified purchase is. Um, I continue to use these enzymes. This is from uh, Nancy. They are the best, and I think if the company could reduce the cost, they would. Well, yeah, they're very expensive because of what's in them. The enzymes come from uh, the southern part of New Zealand, which is known for having the, the cleanest animals on the face of the planet because they're so far down that they miss most of the um, upper airstream currents that carry the pollution cycles around the planet. Um, so we made sure, and this is why sometimes when we sold out, it's taken us three to four months to get the product back in the marketplace because it's not easy. You, we can go to American Enzyme. There's a company here in, in Utah, not Utah, but in the United States, American Enzyme, that sells these things, but they come from American animals. We wanted them from the southern um, New Zealand animals. Okay, I continue to use these enzymes. They're the best. I think if the company could reduce the cost, they would. The product has top-notch ingredients like no other. For me at this point, I can afford these and will continue as long as I can. They keep me healthy, wishing good to all. With COVID-19, it's a daily stressor on everyone's immune system. This is one of the reasons I'm taking this product. This too shall pass. Uh, I'm swearing by this product. Anyone having pancreatic problems, follow direction four capsules 30 minutes before breakfast. It made my peristalsis come back. And I now have a bowel movement every day. The pain on the left side is slowly fading. I started on November 19th. Today is December 4th. This is a year ago. I'm already a believer. Another one. I have been taking these enzymes for four months, and I am amazed with the results. I was having major digestion issues, severe bloating, severe heartburn, major gas. I went to a GI specialist and did tons of tests with no results. After just two months on these enzymes, I am free from all of that. I also notice I don't race for coffee in the morning, and I've been doing that for over 20 years. I have tried many other products for these issues. It's never been, um, it has never been cheap, as I only take whole food supplements. These are the best I've ever had with the best results. I could not be more pleased. Another one. After one week of using Long Life Enzymes, just one week, the heartburn I've had for years is gone. I can tell my food digests better. I do have more energy. I highly recommend it. Um, and, and, you know, it just goes, I don't know how many are here. And, I, I you know, I'm not, oh, here we go. This is uh, the fellow I told you about. I was diagnosed with glioblastoma multiform October of 2016. It is rare, aggressive brain cancer. Uh, a friend of mine referred me to Dr. Stockwell, and I just felt right to visit him. He recommended the enzymes. I've been taking them along with standard treatments, radiation, and chemo since January. Since then, I've had two clean MRIs with no sign of tumor growth. I probably shouldn't be reading that on the air because that would indicate. we. Listen, I'll say it again. We do not treat cancer. Anybody comes in saying, hey, I heard this stuff is good for cancer, I, I will tell them, you talk to your, onco you talk to your oncologist don't you ever do anything that is contrary to what your oncologist tells you without your oncologist's permission. Don't you ever take anything from this office that your oncologist doesn't know about. We don't treat cancer. Now, we offer nutritional support for people with cancer just like we do with people who don't have cancer. But it's not in the sense of treatment. Here's another one. I discovered this product about five months ago. I've gone through several bottles. Then I discovered Dr. Jack and Mary's Ageless Thyroid and have gone through several bottles of that product. I feel better than I have in years. I have more energy and just feel well after a several year period of not feeling well. Now I wake up early and hit the deck. I feel good. I'll never be without these products. Why are we getting testimonials like this? Because it, two things, it aids the digestion so that you can start getting from your food what you think you're getting from your food when you eat it. But because of pancreatic enzyme insufficiency that starts after age 35, you're not breaking this stuff down. Yeah, you, it gets past your mouth. Yes, it gets past your stomach. But then the bloating and the gas and the cramping and the incredibly foul, undead smells and the, and the um, let me read another testimonial here. 
uh, over the last 60 years, I've been to a great number of chiropractors. My wife and I started going to Dr. Stockwell last July. My body is more aligned. I feel better. I stand up straight and I'm doing much better. I also have had a precancerous skin condition. I go to the dermatologist at least every six months. Last August, I started taking long life energy enzymes. A number of things have taken place. Number one, I know my pancreas is working better because of the overall health condition has improved. I have more energy. And the precancerous condition has greatly improved. My last trip to the dermatologist this last week, the number of precancerous marks that had been burned off was much lower than before. The dermatologist told me that my skin was looking more like I had not had a problem with the sun anymore. I go back in six more months. I think then the precancerous will be gone. So in six months, we shall see. Uh, My overall health has improved. I need less sleep. Weakness in my arms and legs is all gone. I do not have to pack food with me when I leave home. I've lost five pounds. I do not need to eat all the time. I've had problems with blood sugar most of my life. I can now go without eating meals. And I have, uh, in between, I have no problems with blood sugar. Now that I'm taking the Lee Enzymes, I highly recommend this product. You can go to Amazon.com, look up Long Life Energy Enzymes, and read the testimonials for yourself. We're out of time. I'll see you next week.